What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, yeah, it's 1 a.m. 1 a.m., but college football. Running wild. Um, you know, I'm going to talk about the predictions I have for the games. And <laughs> college football, 6-0. I had South Florida beating Illinois. That happened. LSU losing to Mississippi State. Uh, Mississippi State absolutely put an ass whooping on them. Vandy beating Kansas State. I can see these teams, and these teams are getting better. Vandy has been getting better. They're really, really good. Clemson absolutely destroying Louisville. I thought Clemson would win, but I didn't think it would be that bad. Um, these are the two big games I want to talk about. First up, the game that just ended in double overtime. USC beats Texas by a field goal. I think it was 27-24. Um, this game went back and forth. Uh, Texas started a true freshman. I forget his name, but this man was making plays out of the pocket in the second half. Wonderful thing. Now, I will say this. USC, uh, Texas got pick six. USC scored with five seconds to go or to end the half on this play that they shouldn't have. And if Texas didn't allow that, Texas would have beat USC tonight. But another to say the less, Texas, wonderful performance. Look, people's like... Oh, Herman, you know, losing to Maryland. I mean, Maryland's undefeated, right? Last time I checked so far, they was, they put up 60 on a team that, you know, they're supposed to. But to be honest, when's the last time you remember Maryland putting a lot of points like that on the board recently? In the last five years. I don't remember it. So... Herman is the guy for Texas. Look, great performance tonight overall. He is the right guy there. I know he is one and two so far in his stint, but look, he's definitely the right guy there. And Malik Jefferson on defense for Texas. Uh, I know he's good. He showed it tonight. He keeps on getting better and better with his reads, and he's probably one of the best linebackers in the nation easily. And I hope you. I think I hope NFL scouts are watching him big time because he's a first rounder. But what happened? USC was on defense for the second overtime. They were Texas was running it with the quarterback. They ran it the second straight time. They stripped it and everything. Now they were looking for his uh, forward uh, progress. Now, it did look like he wasn't going anywhere else, but he was still moving his feet. The play was still moving for that half a second. I, I say if it if if it was another like half a second, this would be for good progress. But they stripped the ball and they got it. USC then kicked the field goal and then won. The next game I talked to, I'm going to talk about. Is Tennessee at Florida? Like I said, look, I have a lot of Florida fans. I have a lot of ten Tennessee fans as friends. Um, while watching this game, it was it felt like a Ravens Steelers defensive game in college football, like it used to be back in the day with Ray Lewis. You got young James Harrison, all that crew. Joey Porter, like it, it really felt like that kind of game. And then they finally broke out. You know, both of them scoring. Well, John Kelly for Tennessee, the running back number four, is an absolute beast. Callaway, I think he's a freshman or a sophomore, number one as a wide receiver is a beast. Um, I was talking to my mom, actually, and this is funny. I mean, she, you know, she never, and I mean, she, I mean, she'll say bad things about Tennessee, but 
she said them two need to get out of Tennessee so they can be noticed a lot at a lot better place than Tennessee because let's be honest, that quarterback of them, uh Dormery, Dormery just sucks. And second of all, yes, he'll have his very, very good throws, good, you know, drives, but he overall in the total he's bad. And that freshman, you know, he's a freshman. But, you know, <laughs> might be time to give him a chance here soon at least. But So Tennessee goes up on top. Um, up on top. No, ties it up with about 50 seconds to go. Florida goes down, you know, they're at their, like, 30, 35, doing the, you know, maybe a final play before they can call timeout or spike it so they can try a long field goal or a Hail Mary. Well, they go ahead and do the Hail Mary. And somehow, some way, these dudes at Tennessee, the secondary, gets beat on this. And Florida's wide receiver... Number 89 catches it for the touchdown to win the game with zero time on the clock. Um, I don't know how a secondary honestly just gets beat like that, but they did. So, yeah, we had some crazy stuff in football, man. Just crazy stuff. Mississippi State just... Absolutely, like, destroying LSU. Vandy beating Kansas State by a touchdown. Great USC-Texas game. Clemson destroying Louisville. And then that Hail Mary, Florida and Tennessee and Florida winning. Um, also, like I said, my Ducks, I'm going to talk about them just a little bit here at the end. They scored 42 in the first half, then scored a touchdown only in the second half. Now, that is a little iffy and... You know, I don't like that all the way. But they still got the job done. 149-13 to a Wyoming team, which the quarterback is really good. Scout, about 20-plus scouts was there to watch him. And he got smothered, didn't do good at all. So that, that defense, that Oregon defense, very impressive tonight. Very impressive tonight. That's why I got so much out of the game tonight, and I actually watched it since it was on CBS Sports, but Ducks win 49-13, rolling on to being 3-0 with the Pac-12, first Pac-12 game with Arizona State next week, but I'm not going to put it in title, but this is going to be like a college football final, like wrap-up of the week, or, you know, wrap-up of the night or something. But this was week three of college football uh, season. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash that like button. Comment down below. More Better games than I thought there would be. And I'll see you guys um, possibly tomorrow after the Tampa Bay Bears game, which is on TV. But I'm all the way not feeling good. I was supposed to go to um, Atlanta Bears game with some coworkers, so... I just didn't feel that good. Like, I'm not feeling good right now. But, um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Tomorrow, I might have the TKW after. I don't know. Like, it's, my schedule and all that has been so messed up. I apologize so much for it. But, it just has. It's been busy. But, I'll see you guys next time, whenever that is, here on the Tyler Killer Show.